Okay, it's 5.30, so let's start. Uh, welcome to webinar 18, the weekly Word Up webinar 18. I renamed it actually. Uh, today, I'm going to cover the new project list and some routines for the EVAS. Uh, and obviously, I'm going to do the, uh, cover the review of the uh, badge four sites. I have two this week. And then this is mostly for, I mean, it's a general information. Uh, because of the new project listing, we're going to change our routines a bit. Uh, I think it will be very good for everyone. And then a bit of ideas for how to market these webinars and the routine for it. And then finally, we have a new exciting task, the recreation task. Uh, so, I will start with the sites and to the left here, you have a Norwegian site from Thomas, which is for telling her, it's like some, something about her, telling her like things about- Stories about women. Yeah, okay. Uh, and it is doing fairly well. It's ranking number two on on uh, uh, um, about, uh, about writers, female writers. Uh, and let's check the site. Hmm. Okay, this is Pippi Longstockings. I actually uh, used to watch this movie when I was a kid. Uh, uh, there is a uh, possibility to post comments here. I don't think that's very good. Uh, we should remove that. I think it's going to be a lot of spam and stuff like that. It's in general, not so good to have it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of posts here, actually, pretty interesting. And then you have, Yeah, I know. I think it's a good site. I mean, uh, I think the, 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 the keywords are a bit weird. Uh, you should probably watch uh, some uh, webinars where we cover web archive and SEMrush and stuff like that, Thomas, because I feel like, I mean, on for Fatterino is pretty, doesn't make so much sense as a keyword. I mean, yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's obviously a pass. Um, then we have the Bronco site that uh, Helene redid. I'm curious on what happened here. Um, it is ranking number 11 on Bronco's bar, which is obviously good. Let's check that out. Okay, so... Uh, uh, it still has the old meta, this is normal. Uh, Lena actually changed the meta title on this page because uh, uh, it should be Denver Broncos or Broncos Denver uh, in the meta title because that's the, the, the keyword, focus keyword. Um, otherwise, I think you have done a really good job. I also saw somewhere, I think here, yeah, this one should become Broncos Denver or Denver Broncos, this uh, internal link, the anchor text here. Because, I mean, then uh, the spider will start understanding what it is. And you have already added, I think, Broncos bar here. So that's really good. Uh, great remake. Good job. Uh, oh, no. Everything wrong. Then, uh, so we have a new uh, updated project list that looks very similar to Website Manager. Let's check it out. Uh, it's very, very early, of course, but right away, this entire mess that we used to have has become, yeah, the overview is pretty good. So 
right away we see that uh, let's see if we have any problem somewhere this uh, this is just uploaded i will cover this later i'm gonna make this Uh, do you see if we have anything? So this is 24 hours, here's zero hours. Ah, it's good. Uh, so what I realized when I checked this is that uh, I know for a fact that our projects are not up. So I propose a change starting right away where, I mean, we follow our usual process where the Eva writes the sample and then focuses on getting all the tasks of the order up. So uh, in Swedish, we have 15 clinic reviews left to write this month. All of them should go up. And then uh, the second step is uh, to, once they're up, I mean, if they're up, someone can actually write them. If they exist on in an Excel sheet, nobody can do anything about it. And we have some writers that are machines that can produce a lot of texts uh, in a very short time. So we should give them the opportunity to do this. And then obviously we should process the tasks, the editing within 24 hours. And I think this is a great opportunity to get into batch five. So uh, I also think that it uh, when we change this now, I mean, we will change the starting tomorrow morning, we will start putting up all the tasks uh, and uh, we have probably a pretty big backlog there, I would assume. Um, we, you should contact some batch four people and share the percentages. So if you're a project manager in EVA, you should uh, share some of your 13% with them to uh, get the tasks up. Obviously, after overview, uh, you should do the final upload, but processing the Excel sheet and stuff, it's something that uh, you should share with some people so it goes up fast. Uh, and please ask any questions about this in the Q&A today. Don't leave it for later because, uh, I mean, tomorrow evening we need to get some tasks up. Uh, and I'm sure that there will be some problems that I haven't thought about. Uh, so, and then the writing webinars. Uh, so once you put up the tasks, I mean, uh, you need to... Uh, make sure that people are aware and know how to do them. So uh, you should market your webinar. And we will, uh, starting next week, uh, me and Jörn will start automating uh, a lot of the communication in Intercom mainly. But after your webinar, you should send the recording to all your active writers through Intercom. So you basically select all Swedish writers, that have been active in the last 30 days and you send the recording to them. So we kind of want to see, it's not so important that people join your webinar, I would say, as long as it's one person. Helene, you had zero people joining your last webinar. That should be avoided, I think. Uh, and then we will also start with the bi-weekly newsletter where we can market this because we have a lot of stuff in the pipe. And uh, I think we're doing very well now. So. Um, it's more about getting the stuff up and uh, getting control over it. And I think this project list that we have done now with some improvements on that, it will become like language sorting. It will become really easy to see what's going on in everything as long as you put the tasks up. Um, and we have a new type of task. Uh, and it's, if you search for recreation in the task feed, this is a, yeah, don't make me think kind of task. I mean, I think anyone can do this task. Uh, it doesn't pay very well, but I mean, it's this kind of things that you probably need a desktop to it because there's a lot of copy pasting, but I mean, you do a bit of them and uh, I don't know, like we will probably have some uh, uh, competitions and stuff running here where if you do a lot of them you can earn reward points and stuff like that especially for you guys who failed uh, one of the badges this will be the opportunity to earn reward points in a bit faster way I would say than doing uh, surveys or something else so let's check it out uh,
So I'm searching for recreation. Yes, yeah. I want something. I would like to have Malta. Where's the Malta? I'm just not in them. Okay, let's take something. I will take this one. So I open the task and the job. Uh, I, I checked the instructions. They're really good. Uh, so the job here is to um, recreate a page. So I click on the source URL. It will open it now in a new tab. And this takes a while because uh, we're going through webarchive.org that is pretty slow. Um, so I don't know, this is a task where you could probably, I don't know, do Duolingo and uh, some other multitasking at the same time. Maybe even watch uh, some kind of series if, uh, if you can do that kind of stuff. I mean, now it's gonna it has taken like 30 ish seconds just to load this page, but now it's loaded. So then I'm going to copy, stop copy pasting stuff here. So I take this one, go back, go here, and I take the second one. I think this should be on the first sections here. It might be gone. Oh, what do I do now? I think, yeah. I do that and then I have to select an image here. So I have to find an image of Burundi. So basically, I mean, obviously, I would go to uh, Google or uh, and search for Burundi flag free download. And here I take the flag. It should be something that is without uh, license or something. And then I load it up here and then I'm done. And this pays something along the lines of 35 cents for doing this. Ah, yeah, 35 cents. Uh, so, I mean, it's not a fantastic pay, but uh, at least it's, uh, and it will be some reward points, tasks and stuff going there. It's a, something to do in that, and we will have tons of them. So uh, if you are curious about it and want to try one, I mean, just go into the task feed and check it out. Um, it's actually a very short webinar this time. Uh, do you guys have any questions? Uh, then please go into the chat and ask. I mean, I hope that, I mean, normally this is the most popular section of my webinars. I'm like bombarded with uh, questions. So I decided like, okay, let's have 17 minutes today so we can, everybody can ask everything. No, it was a joke, obviously. I mean, nobody asks any questions in my webinar, so. Um... Uh, okay, Brian. So Brian is asking, the recreation task will be for all languages. It will be right now in English. Uh, Claire is, uh, I don't know if she has put them up, but she's put them up latest tomorrow morning. Uh, it will be in Finnish, it will be in Swedish, it will be in Norwegian. And it will probably be in Danish pretty soon. So yes, I'm mean, not all languages, but uh, all where we have badges at the moment. So we're taking like one country at a time. And I guess in your case, uh, Brian, it's English, right? So I think it's, yeah, the answer is yes. Okay, I don't think there's any more questions then. I would like to give it one more minute. So please shoot if you have anything. Otherwise, I will call it an evening.
Okay, guys, then uh, thanks for joining. And um, ah, there's Robinson here. Okay, so Robinson is asking, there are fashion task brands that must be open with reward points. Uh, will the same they serve the same purpose as batch two tasks? I mean, if they're opening with reward points, they are probably a batch two test. So I think that must be the reason. If it's naked, uh, there would be no other reason for us to uh, have reward points on something uh, if it's not a test. Okay, so uh, uh, Jorn is answering and saying, yeah, Robert, so we move those to normal tasks when the rest finishes. I mean, so in general, uh, uh, okay, so Savior is uh, asking, uh, when will the recreation task will be available? I accidentally dropped a task and lost my reward points. I'm new to word that. Okay, welcome, first of all. Uh, it, they will be, I mean, available, I would say in English, uh, will be uh, Finnish, it will be available tomorrow for sure. Sweden is already 119 available and uh, English will be available tomorrow. And we're, I mean, we're adding more and more and more there. I mean, uh, and actually we will, we will do that now. That's what I talked about. The, the change that we're doing is uh, mainly now that we will put up everything in the feed. So there will be much more pre-processing for the EVAs in the beginning. Uh, normally they would just do parts of the projects. Now we'll do much bigger projects and put them up. And then if you want to work a lot, you will have the opportunity to work a lot. And I mean, uh, this recreation tasks, I mean, the payment now is might be 20 cents, 35 cents, but there will be some reward points and some competitions and stuff going on there. Okay, guys, any more questions? I know it takes a while to write them in the chat. Otherwise, Okay, so then I will call it an evening now. Thanks for joining, guys. See you next week at the same time. Bye-bye.